Well, Bomber fans, every club has got them. The one that got away, and certainly our guest today, is uh, certainly fits into that category. 33 games for the Bombers over five years before going to the Swans and being a star for a decade. Premiership player, All-Australian, Ted Richards. Thanks Welcome. For, thanks for having me. Welcome yeah. back home. Uh, yeah, hey, I've moved down to Melbourne <laughs> two weeks ago. What, what are you doing with yourself? Um, so, yes, I'm working in an investment company um, called Six Park, and... Um, we're a bit different to most other investment companies because we automate part of the process and in doing that we just uh, give lower fees to our clients. So, and um, Lindsay Tanner, chairman of, the, of uh, Essendon, he sits on our investment committee. So uh, a bit of a link there between uh, Six Park and the, the Dons. How do you look back on your time at Essendon? I guess from the outside everyone would think it was probably a frustrating time for you, but how do you reflect now that the career's done and dusted? Well, it's... You know, on field, yeah, there's a lot of frustration. And um, also when it came to selection, even more frustration. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, also some of the highlights of my life. I, you know, to play my first game in 2002, it was, round two, 2002. Also the friendships that I've made. So um, a lot of frustration, but also a lot of highlights. Was a certain Scott Lucas going back to centre-half back in 03 hold you back a little bit, do you think? Uh, I he was a forward at the start. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I, I appreciate that because you, you gave me the opportunity. You got his scapegoat there, but um, no, I, I, no, I, no, 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 no I, I can't say that hurt me. Uh, I think there was many other things that hurt me more um, so than that. Robert Shaw was our guest last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a story on Shawy. Oh, did I? <laughs> that was off camera. Uh, yeah, so uh, Shawy, Shawy was a, a fantastic coach. Um, for me and for many other players, and um, but I, th- I think he used to he, he he saw the fact that I came from the private school world and wanted to toughen me up. And uh, I can remember just walking past his office one day. It was just a Tuesday morning, sunny Tuesday morning. I'm just bouncing down the hallway. <laughs> Richards, get in here! And I, so I walk in. Hey, Shory, what did you call me? I said, Shory. He goes. Only my friends call me Shory. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> you call me Robert. So uh, we had five years together at Essendon, and like, Shory was great. Like, yeah. he, re- he really was. But he's uh, unpredictable. I, I, he's unpredictable. He's a fantastic mentor for me, and um, you know, I'm st- still in great touch with Shory. Um, uh, probably the low point of our relationship there, but uh, <laughs> it was only up from there. Um, and uh, but yeah, he he just he really did. Um, take me under his wing and um, uh, yeah, it's just a funny funny day that one. And where are you living Ted? <laughs> yeah, well, that was another story <laughs> off camera. Uh, so very quickly had to move down to Melbourne and uh, not enough time to organise out of rental so we're staying with my in-laws and um, ooh, which is, ooh, no, ooh, no, shout out tough. to my in-laws. <laughs> uh, thank, <laughs> no, thanks for having me, thanks for the beautiful cooking and uh, thanks for looking after uh, my wife and my son. Um, but yeah. we'll be out as soon as we can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's just on the, just, yeah, currently looking. Yeah, currently looking. And yeah. what about what about Sheeds? And just a reminder, Bomber fans, 50 years of Sheeds, uh, June 29. Tickets still available at the website. It will be a great night. Was it a frustrating relationship with Sheeds, given you're in and out of the side? Or how do you look back at your time under Kevin? Yeah, yeah Sheeds and I had a, a unique relationship in that we, we got along, um, you know, Monday to Thursday. Just have a picture. Yeah, yeah. Just when it came to selection, <laughs> he just wanted to go a different, a different way. And uh, yeah, so we're good up until like you know the footy show came on Thursday night, and I found out the team. I was like, yep, not in again. Um, but uh, Sheeds, um, yeah. So like, I, I appreciate you know Sheeds was the one that drafted me. I, I've got a lot to be grateful for, for Sheeds. You know, he he, um, he kept me on the list for five years. But um, you, you know, Sheeds w- wanted to go another way with. Um, with selection, and um, I, I just thought that my future was better at an elsewhere. Is there an obvious difference then in Sheeds and Paul Ruse? C- clearly, Rusey regarded you highly because you played so much footy under him. But just in personality or the way that they went about it? Oh, of course, there's differences. But yeah. the, you know, you could just a sample size of two. Yeah. Um, you know, each have got different personalities. Each have got um, a different minds. You know, they different ages but you know that, that's that's not having a go at sheets it's just yeah. the different characters and um, uh, I initially went to Swans because the Swans as discussing with Ruse had a role for me that uh, as a high half forward mm. and um, that's that's why they really wanted me to um, kind of support um, Hawley, Mickey O'Loughlin, Ryan O'Keefe in that in that role they could, they could see the, the what I was doing for Scotty Lucas, Morty and Hurdy. <laughs> Getting just, out of our space. No, 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 no. Clear no, no. space, I, Ted. We, we, at Essendon, we had the awesome foursome. Myself, 
Lucas Heard Lloyd. I was the anchor, already the decoy. And we had a great little system. And it ended in 2005. But anyway, I've, I've gone, gone off uh, topic here. We're, we're, the, we're talking about sheeds and roos. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I initially went to the Swans as uh, yeah. forward, but um, uh, a couple of years later, um, was played my best footy down back. Yeah. Is John yeah. Longmire an underrated coach? He I mean, is. we always hear, you know, say Nathan Buckley goes, go and get Clarkson, go and get Ross Lyon. Yeah. Surely John Longmire would be one of the first coaches you go for. Yep. Yeah. And Horse has got many strengths, and uh, with all due respect to Horse, um, one of his strengths, I reckon, isn't um, in front of the cameras with the media, and a lot of people unnecessarily wrongly judge horse on that he, you know he, he all is, coaches even don't they yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like, yeah and, if and, you're a good media performer you're almost deemed to be a pretty good coach yeah well, yeah that's the default position yeah and where's horse horse's strengths line is coaching his people management mm. what what you want in a coach and um so i and i think horse can wrongly get pigeonholed because he isn't up the front as charismatic as other people that he um he gets rated poorly for that. Mm. But certainly highly regarded Absolutely. as a coach. Yeah. What about Job? You're great mates with Job. Yep. How have you seen his return to the game so far this year? I mean, there's been a few critics saying he's struggling. How have you seen his footy so far this year? Uh, well, yeah, I, I've, I've, watched, I've, I've watched a lot of games. And um, um, I, I think, you know, you, you know he's, had a, he's had a year out of footy. And, you know, he's still playing really good footy. It's just... Um, I think people just set the benchmark so high that and just assuming that someone can have a year out of the game, come back in at 31 or 32 or whatever he is and assume that he's possibly, you know, in a handful of... He's going to be able to win the Brownlow this year, which I think that's... Um, I think, you know, he's playing great footy and, and um, he's not in an official leadership position, I understand, but the club's going in a great way. Mm. Would he set the benchmark really high, Joe? Or would he be a realist to know that you can't just click your fingers and return to that, that pre-suspension form? Uh, I, I think, I think you know, being the professional and the competitor that he is, I think he's trying to play the best footy that he can. And uh, when I last spoke to him, which was a while ago, he, was, he felt that he was going OK, but he said to me, he, goes, you know, he still thinks there's, there's room for improvement, which um, I think it's just a great mindset to have as a footballer that you can constantly improve and that you're not operating at all at your best. Friday night, your thoughts? The Ted Richards Cup, of course. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And understand, you to understand your audience. The, the, the Richards Kick It Cup. Kick It Richards, Kick It Richards. Side note, I, I had Derek's number on my back. Oh. We're going out, yeah, b- number nine, when I was a big Essendon fan. Ever see Derek yeah. around the swans? Uh, yeah, once or twice I did, yeah. 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 Um, anyway, we've gone off topic again. No, yeah. we like it. Um, don't think he'll be at the 50 years of Sheeds function. No, no, no wouldn't no, have thought so. Uh, no. Um, he uh, might send a message. <laughs> That'd yeah. be a good message. It'd be an interesting <laughs> message. <laughs> it um, would. But Friday night. Yeah, well... Um, Clearly you're watching the Swans closely still. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm disappointed I'm not there. My AFL 9s team in Sydney have booked a box. Oh. Yeah, and uh, I thought, what a great... what a great. Anyway, that's another, that's yeah. another story. Um, but... Um, yeah, Swans. We're we're doing catch up. Um, uh, what are we now? I think we're five and seven. Yeah. Um, we win this. We're six and seven, and and right on the in door the of the eight. Hunt. Yeah, in the hunt. And similar story to to Essendon. Yeah, I, I think it. It's a, it's a game that both teams want to win if they they're going to make make the eight. Why were the Swans so slow out of the blocks this year? I mean, I did see something last week that not many players did a full preseason, which probably would explain it, and a few injuries. But was there more to that? Why they were one and six at one stage. Yeah, I, I think um, that's a that's a that's a that's a great excuse to use when things don't work out your way. Oh, pre seasons didn't work out. Um, I just think that uh, when the Swans had in the first six weeks opportunities to win games, because um, we were we were in the hunt in the last quarter for quite a few games, we didn't capitalise and um, we lost some games that where we we, we could have won. And on top of that, which was much publicised, we had some important players to us that weren't playing. Yeah, you know, they're out of form a bit. Yeah. But that's going to happen throughout the year. Um, we just weren't good enough to cover those guys when they just had a little um, lapses in form. Now mm. tell us about Buddy. He's uh, got a great record against the Bombers, unfortunately. But you played against him, and then he was a teammate. Yeah. Was he different to what you thought he was? 
Uh, Once you finally got to know him and saw him as a teammate. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, you see him him on field and it, um, and you see this um, strutting peacock. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah you know. But uh, off the field, you know, he, he's quite reserved, fairly quiet. Um, uh, you know, he, he's got some great thoughts and opinions on things outside of footy. Um, he's um, he's yeah, and I think it's healthy to have. A really confident yeah, on-field yeah, persona, yeah, absolutely, because it, that, that's that's good for your game to have that that confidence. But um, and then um, yeah, Buddy kind of just switches off and becomes a different person off-field. And as a defender, have you seen a better one than Alex Rance? It was almost like Rance versus Sydney at one stage. Yeah, that game it, it, was, it was. It um, was. Take yourself out of the equation. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. all. I thought, I thought that, was way out. I that was a given. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, what what I'm liking is being able to. Um, to uh, I, I watched him play against. GWS um, a few weeks, you know, a few weeks ago, up at Skoda or whatever that stadium's called now, and um, yeah, he he really plays a selfish brand of defence where he he covers an area, not just an opponent, and um, uh, I really like the fact that people are, are recognising um, mm. the the important role, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the important role that, that he's playing because um, uh, mm. it's it's an underrated position and it's a bloody tough position, mm. so. Um, yeah, great to see, and uh, I'm not sure how he ranks compared to um, other defenders. I know p- people talk about Scarlett too, but I think they're just both great players. Now, yeah. a couple of questions uh, for the fans before we let you go. Now, you were almost one of the footy's original swingmen. You were forward and back yep. at your time at Essendon. Was that difficult? Did you always see yourself as a forward, or yeah, did you uh, want to be a defender? What, what was your yeah, preference? That, that was that was me just doing whatever I can to get a game. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was for no other reason than that... If I saw an injury and an opportunity to get picked in the best 22, I'd put my hand up and go, I'm a ruckman. I can play wing. <laughs> and um, uh, it was all about, I had at the time, all about, you know, strings to my bow and everything like that. And whereas what, what I changed my mindset at the Swans, and this is quite a few years into the Swans, is stuff being a someone that can play um, every position. I just want to be the best and a half back in the competition. And um, I probably changed my attitude towards that at about 2011. It's a bit of a slow learner for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's an interesting one from uh, Scooter, who seems to have got some inside word here. Yeah. Is it true when you were about 18, you got injured, and your mum ran onto the field to see if you were okay? Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, Come Scoot, on, Scoot, Scooter's got a good memory. So, um, VFL, probably 2002, 2003... I'm at uh, full back playing on Pods Yadley. Who's oh, so it was in the VFL? Yeah, VFL. Oh, mum. Uh, it, was, it was match of the round. Uh, so it was on ABC. <laughs> Phil, Phil Cleary doing the call. And um, uh, I ran back with a fight, as I no doubt, as I always did. And uh, Podsy came through, elbow to the back of the head. Podsy was playing for Williamstown at the time. And um, it was all accidental, but I got, um, I got knocked out. And just as I was falling to the ground, the siren went. And... Um, ABC panned out over the ground as they do, you know, the you know, end of the game, and you see this middle-aged woman just bolting on it. And uh, yeah, as you zoom in, you realise that's my mum. <laughs> what did you say to your mum after you? I can't remember the incident. So uh, oh, a couple can, of days later, what did you and, say? Um, oh, I've gone. I, I, I appreciate. I, I, I appreciate the care. <laughs> appreciate the care. You got um, but. Let's, let's just refrain from doing that in the future. Yeah, yeah. And before we let you go, tip for Friday night? Uh, well, uh, the kick at Richards Cup. Uh, uh, I'll say Swans to win by a kick. It'll be a close one. Both teams are you know, playing, playing some good footy. And um, uh, what, what's the best on ground award going to be? Uh, uh, it'll yes, be just the Richards the Philand- medal. Philand- I was going to say Peter Philandia. Philandia maybe. medal. The yeah. Philandia or medal. The swingman medal. The uh, inaugural for you. Um, the Craig Bird we'll get that. Who would you be already if you had to do it now? Because sometimes it looks like the votes are given before the games. Oh, played okay. on those things. Well, who are you tr- giving it to? Well, Jake. Job. Oh, now stuff him. He's, uh, Jake Lloyd's playing a really important role for the Swans and um, a really underrated role. So, um, uh, Sydney fans, keep an eye out for him because um, he's one that sets up sets it up for the Swans. Well, Ted, thanks for your time. Great to see you back in Melbourne. No worries. And uh, good luck with the business. Right. Scotty? Address again, website. Oh, yeah, yes. give it a plug. Yeah. plug. www.sixpark.com.au. Check us out. <laughs> Scotty, thanks for the time. We'll see you next week. Bomber fans, hope to see plenty at the SCG on Friday night, and we'll see you again next week.